Uh, drawing overdeveloped. I mean, look at me. I'm in good shape. But, I mean, that's like anorexic compared to soups. Uh, and we don't seem to have a problem overdeveloping the men. But as soon as you do an overdeveloped woman, it's like, that's sexist. Nah, wait, that's not sexist. That's consistent. So. <laughs> okay, we give it a whip. Okay, so we want something sexy. So how about... Now, right now, you know what's sexy is a French cut. But we don't want to expose that much. So why don't we give her the illusion of a French cut by coming up here and exposing this part of the flesh right up in here. Right here, loser, and right up in here. This, when we color this real quick, will be flesh. So we'll make that. And then uh, I wonder if we want to go, I wonder if we want to, uh, let's run that down her leg maybe a bit. Like, let's give her at least two flesh bubbles. As a matter of fact, we'll make them into points, so that looks a little more menacing. I might even change the shape of those flesh cuts to be more points or something like that that might be a little more menacing. Again, as long as I know that you guys want sex, we can uh, redefine it. Um, across, okay, across her chest, do you want, uh, do you want to see a, a plate across her chest? Do you want to see uh, steel across her chest? you want to see a gun? slung over there or do you want like on one side let's say on one side we don't have to make it all even do you want to see like a shoulder pad or, or what do you see what do you see look at him on there what do you see for like the chest area there or a big ass kind of changed a little bit don't keep it the same on both sides like you're saying okay okay so how about if we come how about if we come then we cut her we cut her armor dress down her throat on one side and cut it up here like this Okay, this we can either make it fleshy, this we can make it metallic, high gear, and then we've got this coming up here. Again, I can always do some designy cut stuff like go like this and cut it across her or something so she looks a little more racy or something like that. Uh, let's, give her, let's give her a little bit of protection on the shoulder. Uh, come, we'll come this way right here. Okay, we'll give her a bit of a shoulder pad, just, just small enough so it looks kind of like a an armadillo that kind of looks like a little bit of a big bug if you mush them on the road, so. Okay, um, what about the legs? Oh, we got a female, beautiful female babe. I patterned it after her. Um, I'd you like give to us say the insight from a female's point of view, what do we always do wrong and what should we do right this she time? She needs high boots, like up to her thigh. Oh. With spikes on the end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, at, the t if the t at the top of her boots, you're right, that's cool. Uh, at the top of her boots, do we want, do we want to like uh, flip a, f do we want it to like, you, you've seen like Thor, Make some of those guys where it, f where it flares out point. to a point, and then do you want to put a little symbol like right there or something like that? Sure. A, little, a little fang thing. Okay, let's do a point. As a matter of fact, let's tie the boots into these markings that I gave right here for the flesh. So we'll give it a high, sexy, Booties, way and to And also cook. her spikes can shoot out venom or something, some kind of poison. Some kind of poison? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now she will have high heels. Let's make a note for ourselves. High heels, but I, I'm not going to be able to get that on this drone because I wanted to make this big so that we could see it out there. We'll add that. We'll add that later. So we'll come in here. Do, 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 do. You, want it, you want those boots to be uh, chrome? Or do you want those boots to be clothy? You, like, do you see velvet. them being like one, one big long piece that's fitting tight, loose, you know what I'm saying? Like a velvet piece. Like a tight velvet piece? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Okay, we got the booties. Okay, actually, we're going to come up. You know what? By the time this is done, whatever, what, this is what I usually do. After I design a character real quick, I always like, overdo everything the second time around so I know I'm gonna pull the points probably up to her crotch you know when I'm by the time I'm done so I'll actually pull this one up here so it, it, it will play more into this one up in here and we'll come in here like this okay we got the boots uh, do you see anything else on her on her legs or is the boots good enough you can give it her strap on her thigh maybe okay yeah you put spikes on that strap around her thigh and she can pull a knife or something, a dagger out of there. Okay, okay. We'll put a one strap just on one side right here. And we'll give her the old tool of doom. 
Okay, uh, let's let's work on the head right now. Okay, we got the horns. We got this cool marking on her face. You think she look meaner right now if we just make her bald? Cause bald is mean. You know what I mean? Sinead O'Connor, you know she's yeah. she kind of she's she's intense. So uh, and even like Grace, remember Grace Kelly or who? Not Grace Kelly. Grace Jones. Grace Kelly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Grace Jones. Yeah, Grace Kelly. Actually, there's a movie I haven't seen yet, Aliens 3. She looks pretty tough with that shaved heads and some of the ads that I've seen. You know, Sigourney Weaver, she looks like she's tough, so this would be cool. Okay, we got that. Now, what else we got to do to finish this up? We want to put anything, uh, do you want to add any more, like on her arms or, or around her chest area up in here? You want to, okay, see the segmented abdomen? Do you want to, like, carry that motif into her chest? No. So, do you, you don't want to see it? You, no. you, you want to see like nice voluptuous curves or do you want to see metallic or what would you like? Whenever we do women characters and give them their own comic book, you guys never buy it. I don't know. I don't understand it. So, okay, we'll give her some coves. Nice, tight neck bone. We'll make it cool here. Okay, come up in here. I might even, why don't we give her a little bit of hair, just almost like a ponytail just right in the back just to give her a little bit of a wispy wiggy ugly look here we got this got the same hands it's going to be normal or otherwise it's called normal and give her the fist with the we'll give her the finish up her arms right here and you know what jim lee and rob liefeld and wilts they can draw like these things 10 times faster and 10 times better than i can yeah coming up in here Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we got pretty much, I can always add or subtract once I get it home and we take a look. Let's see if we can't get a little bit of color in before we call it a day and we let you guys get out of here. So, what kind of color we want for her face? White. Do you want to keep that white? white? Like a joker? We'll keep, why don't we keep her all white then? If we're gonna go white, why don't we keep her all white? What about uh, her hair? Do you want to give her a bit of a, a, a tint of color on her hair? Purple. Purple. That's a cool color. Let's do it. Give her a little bit of purple. We'll just give her a little bit of highlight here. Perfect. Okay. And she's going to have purple hair. Then let's give her some purple boots. Now this is just, again, just to get some color coordinations here. Well, I'm coloring some of this and we make some color. We've got to give her a name, boys and girls. How about, uh, how about Lotus? Like Lotus, you know, you know, you know what Lotus is in the computer business. Yeah. It it makes real quick judgments, and it's kind of an accounting thing, and it does things quick. And uh, uh, or Locus, or Locus, or something like that. Locus, you guys, can you guys live with that? Yeah. Lo Lotus or Locus? Lotus. Lotus. Lotus, it will be. Yeah. No, we got it. We're there. Lotus. Okay, we're we're gonna be there. Okay. We got, we're going to keep her flesh up, or I mean not flesh, but white, her white fleshy stuff there. What color for the up top? We got purple. We can either do something that's like bluish or we can do something like uh, the Los Angeles Lakers come in with the yellow or what do you guys see? Green? Green. Okay, I heard a green. I, I can live with green because green is like a bug. So, okay, let's do a green. Let's get some purple. And is it purple? Okay, let's get some green in there. We'll make it. We'll make it a bright green. I don't know if I'm going to pick the right green right off the bat here, but let's give her. Uh, we'll make this green up in here. And we'll make this her arms green, green and purple. Oh yeah, we love those colors. We'll make this green. I see a little bit of design going up her belly here too. So we'll make this green here. We'll make the abdomen a bit green. And we'll make this stripe on her shoulder green here, right here, okay? We need another color. We need another trim color. Black. 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 Uh, we'll we like black here, right? We can work black in. So, okay, let's get a black here. We'll give her a heavy shadow here on the bosoms. Give her a heavy shadow here on the bosoms. Shadow here, and 
we'll come up with a bit of design running up her belly here because then that way that'll frame the uh, abdomen that we've got on her and I can work out some of the kinks. I'll probably make this a little bit shiny on her chest right in here. Uh, give this a little bit of a highlight up in here. And we have And there, now I'll make that, that'll be real subtle when we do it, so the yellow, don't you worry about that. So, um, there we go. Uh, we got Chance out here. Chance, can you give me, uh, is Chance Wolf in the audience here, should please? Come on up here, Chance. I made it down where it was going to be a little bit awkward for you, but give us something wild, give us something wispy, and, uh, and I'm going to finish up this chain here. Good. The Lotus. It's just isn't working. It's working. We love it. As a matter of fact, you're in camera and, and, and everybody's seeing the screw ups. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, that's terrible. That's know, terrible. <laughs> and uh, we'll give it a quick, we could even give it a quick highlight right here just to make you look great. Oh, you get a chance to do anything with it. Well, get it. Here's the purple. Is that purple? I was going to drop a drop shadow on the other side. Go. Oh, Do well. it. Okay. 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 Ready? Let me give you ten, and then we're living with this one. We're taking this home, and we're calling it a night. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Okay. Four. Three. Two. One. We have Lotus. Okay. Here we go. Okay, she will be appearing. She will be appearing in uh, one of the future spawns. Uh, we're gonna get a little mini comic book out on her. I'd like to thank uh, Al for the soul and inspiration to spawn. Thank you, Al. I'd like to thank Chancy for working out and doing a great. As a matter of fact, we'll get a chance to do a great logo, finished logo. But more importantly than that, you guys, when you go home and you see that character, this character is dedicated to all you guys here. And uh, we'll make sure we get it in there. We recognize you guys in, when we designed them that you guys helped along in the process. Thanks for coming. Hope you guys got a little bit of insight. And thanks.